you need to watch this video. I have got 12 rookie mistakes that you don't want to make as a first time home buyer. Hey friends, Jamie Osby here. I'm a realtor in Calgary, Alberta with eXp Realty. Now, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I release new videos every Monday that are packed full of real estate information. This is gonna empower you to make informed, knowledgeable real estate decisions. Now, make sure to stay through to the end because I always release funny bloopers and I'm known to leave a freebie or two. Now, let's jump right in, shall we? The 12 biggest mistakes that first-time homebuyers make. Mistake number one, moving too fast. There are 11 reasons following this, all about why you need to take your time. You definitely don't wanna just rush out and buy the first thing that you see. Mistake number two is not having a pre-approval done for your mortgage before you start shopping. Now, why is this important? Well, because you don't wanna get out there, start falling in love with all of these homes, and then find out that they're not even within your budget. That will just break your heart. Mistake number three is not hiring a home inspector or having a condominium document review done. Now, this to me just kind of seems like common sense, but you'd really be surprised how often people skip this step because it costs money. I get it, it's expensive. A home inspector, a good one, will probably run in Calgary about 500 bucks and maybe equal for a condo doc review but that's a healthy $500 to spend if you find out there's a massive crack or the house is falling down or there's a giant special assessment coming your way. Do not cheap out here. Mistake number four is getting swept away. Now this is basically falling in love with a home. Now it's very easy to do this. Buying a home is kind of like dating somebody and you do fall in love, but you have to be so, so careful because your negotiations might not go how you want to. The home inspection might not come back clean. The appraisal, something could go crazy. I mean, there's so many things that could just go wrong or hiccups and you really wanna have your level head on. You don't wanna kind of be swept away with how much you've fallen in love with that house. Number five is don't spend too much. Make sure before you start shopping that you do a good solid budget. Just because you've been pre-approved for $10 million doesn't mean that you should use it all. Be realistic with what you can afford. Nobody wants to be house poor. Mistake number six, and a shameless plug, hiring a real estate agent or writing your offer through the listing agent. Nobody is representing you. You don't wanna do this. There are so many, like I said, all those hiccups that can happen. You need somebody to guide you. You need somebody to point out the flaws in the home to keep you level and make sure all of those contractual obligations are actually followed. Hire somebody, don't be too proud. You're not gonna get a deal if you write through the listing agent. The listing agent is just gonna get paid twice. Mistake number seven is picking the wrong neighborhood. You may fall in love with the different attributes of a certain neighborhood, but it might not be practical for you. Maybe it's on the other side of the city from where you work, and in your head you've kind of romanticized it, and you think, I can do it. An hour in the car twice a day is, is fine. It, I, I'll just listen to podcasts. No, you'll be miserable. Make sure you're taking all of that stuff into account. Think really thoroughly about the neighborhood you pick and don't pick something based on ideas or ideals that maybe aren't realistic. Mistake number eight is waiting for the unicorn. Yes, there's lots of home on the market and new homes will always come up for sale. And one of the most common things I hear is, but what if something better comes along? But what if something doesn't? That home that you're looking at right now might be the perfect home and you might miss it. And that unicorn home may never come available. Get through, pick that solid home, the home that you love, and then stop looking. Mistake number nine is assuming that you require 20% down. You actually just need 5%. Now, 5%, you will be charged a little bit of a premium on your mortgage because you require mortgage insurance but you can still qualify. And this is what you might need to do in order to jump into the home market. 
Now in Calgary, you could buy a decent starter condo for about $175,000. That's just under $9,000 with 5% down. That's a lot more attainable than thinking in your head that you need 20 grand. Mistake number 10 is not taking into account the hidden costs of home ownership. Now, I've got another video coming in a couple weeks explaining all of those hidden costs, so watch out for that. But you definitely want to make sure, again with the affordability thing, that you actually know what your monthly amount is going to be and how much purchasing this home is going to cost you. Mistake 11 is not making an emotional decision. Now, this can be a really, really stressful time and negotiations can go sour and you can have a bad experience with something, but you need to remove yourself and truly look at the house, take away the realtors, take away the, the sellers and feel um, whether it's a smart decision, remove the emotion and make a solid decision with your head. The last mistake that home buyers make is only talking to one lender. Now, there might be a better rate for you or a better mortgage product or somebody might have better advice. Don't just walk into some bank or the first person you talk to on the street and go with them. Make sure just like the realtor that you're gonna interview, check out that video, you're going to be looking and interviewing your mortgage brokers and your banks. They need to prove their business to you just as much as we do. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for hanging out. Don't make these mistakes. Make sure you get somebody in your corner to advise you on all these awesome, exciting times. Make sure you click below. I've got a link to a freebie for you. I've got how not to buy a lemon. And if you want, you can always reach out to me and I can get some other awesome information. Check out those other videos I have for you as well. Purchasing a home should be fun and easy and exciting and not stressful. Take care. a whole video without wearing a yeah. Take two. <sighs> video for you. It's 12. I'm a real... Mistake number three is not... It's like a brownie.